All right. So uh, we're back in business. Uh, whenever you're ready, guys. So uh, like as we said, it's going to be a best of five. So first to three, basically. All right. And you're, why do you have a chair and I yeah, don't I have a chair? Them, man. You go, you go do manual labor stuff. Well, well, hey, here. Give me, give me the uh, mic. Yeah, here you go. All right, so we have Brad Wong versus Akira. Yes. Messi Come. playing as Brad Wong, a very tricky character. And oh, no, he's playing Brad Wong. And um, uh, Zero EX, or Jamar, as we know him, is playing Akira. So very dirty. Brad Wong is one of those very comes. deceptive characters. Uh, very hard to read sometimes, especially if you don't know the matchup. Uh, you know, like he, he could just basically play with the high low mix up all day. And, it, you know, Jamar does have experience with the game though. And he does use Akira and VF. So uh, let's see what he's capable of in this game. I mean, it's, it's, it didn't really seem that, you know, one sided in the first round. But right now, you can, you can see the dominating play from, from Messi. You know, I, I know you played him uh, just now. I only had maybe three games against him, but what was apparent very clear in every fight I had against Messi was that he used the uh, the first couple of rounds to kind of figure you out, and then pretty much was relentless at the end. That I'm talking about from personal experience. When I played against him, I, yeah, I really found that he was sort of looking for which things I knew and which things yeah, I didn't, yeah, and then that's, punched. That's where sandbagging comes in. I guess so. But he, uh, yeah, I kind of figured out a few things as well. So of course, that's good. That's good. But it seems to be his style. So I'm wondering whether, so when we're seeing Jamar do well in an early round, we might. Yeah. It might be a repeated pattern. I think we won't. I don't think we'll see Messi lose many final rounds. Basically, he does seem to be. Uh, he's he, he's he's very Messi's very good at adapting. I yeah. mean, he's uh, he's well known for game, it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's probably the premier player here. I guess him and he's Grunt probably are probably the only two known players. Him and Grunt are probably the favorite to win. Of course. But yeah. let's not count out everyone else. I mean, uh, a lot of people. A lot of people have been practicing hard. <laughs> yes, that is true. You know, then there's me. There's you, probably third, I would guess. Uh, we'll see. And then uh, we'll see how. I have no idea how good Goman is. Kaz has got his. I mean, uh, I mean his, the, the, his the best thing to do now is basically to try and get one of these guys into losers. Huh? The score is 1 0 to Messi. Okay. So, uh, all right. So, uh, so more importantly, uh, the UK's. The UK playing community is very on Emperor Cow. Made it today, oh? after some doubts. You made it. We didn't think you were going to make it. But well, you're here. yeah. I mean, I've been I've been really busy with my PhD and studying and stuff. And, okay. uh, you know, it's just uh, right now I'm approaching the end of my stay in the UK. Really, okay. uh, about to f like you know submit my dissertation. But oh. enough of that. It's not about me now. It's about <laughs> this match. Fair enough. So Jamal Zero EX switches to Helena right now. Uh, really maybe helps. for for a more you know mix-up friendly character or maybe someone he's more comfortable with yeah seems um so seems yeah, players aren't really used to the breakable uh structures yet. yeah they're not really capitalizing on the on the actual are. environmental damage yeah. which is uh quite a shame really because double the a damage lot of your combo with those not only that huge. it's actually guaranteed yeah so most yeah. Of, most of the environmental damage is actually guaranteed damage yeah absolutely you get a free launch whenever you hit them into one of those breakable structures so like yeah that. oh so, we'll so you got a limbo that. stun there from brad wong's kicks uh which is quite interesting yeah i guess that causes limbo when he uh <coughs> sets it up all right now the, the helena mix up now uh, helena is just really really disgusting once she once she has that one, you know, attack in, it's really hard to read what's coming next from her. I know a lot of the Americans argue that she might be low tier, but I honestly don't see it. Like, I, I think she has good enough tools to to, to deal the damage that she, she needs. Okay. Uh, and right now, it's quite even. It's one to one now. Uh, let's see. Very nice mix-up. He, he decides not to do the, the punch follow-up. All right. Again. 
you know, now that, you know, in this game, now that that move causes guard break, it's, it's slightly safer than before. You can't go for the low, fr low throw like, oh, very nice. Power blow. And that's round two. So let's see how it goes now. Oh. <laughs> Again with that match starter. You know how fast that move is? That is, uh, I have no idea. Okay. I, need to, I need to look at more of the frame data of this game, man. Yeah, me too. I don't but know the thing with Brad Wong, I mean, it's all... Actually, both of these characters, when you think about it, both of these characters rely heavily on, on, on more of a gimmicky style of play. Yeah. And you really Same have to Wong. know your character to actually be able to pull some damage. So that's two. It's best of three. You still got one more. Best of five. So best of five, yeah. It's first to three, best of five. Yeah. He's changing character again. Switching up. Now Kokoro right, is coming see. up. Let's see. Ah, Kokoro. Well, Kokoro is arguably one of the best characters in this game. I don't Certainly care. Seems like it to me. She's one of the fastest characters that can get to critical burst. She has two setups where she can get critical burst in yeah. two hits only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has, has stuns. She has. She has so many ways to get into it. They aren't even in the movie. She has a million sit down stuns. She yeah. has a turnaround stun, which guarantees a follow-up. Her punish from back turn, uh, like if someone is en ends up in back turn in front of her, she can deal some crazy amount of damage to punish them without ma letting them turn around. Yeah. Not only that, I mean, her her mix-up as well, like she's improved so much from DOA 4. Okay. And just to add to all the fun, she has, she also has a Sabaki from Up Back Punch that basically crushes highs. I think it crushes highs. Up Back Punch? Up Back Punch, is which is her power blow. Sabaki is what? A counter which it's then attacks like as well. It's kind of an attack that counters, yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. In yeah. this game, it doesn't really do a counter. It more like goes under, so it, it acts more like a crush. But if you look at the frame data, you will see that it's actually... It, it still uh, works as an as a sabaki, so okay. it's actually throwable in the first few frames. Oh, yeah, I was about to ask that. You can yeah. throw during that. Her up back okay. punch is throwable on the first few frames because it acts like a hold. Is that the same with uh, Sarah? With her same with sabaki? Sarah's punching kick. That, exactly. Yes, okay. you can. All right. Let's see if he. You see, there's not capitalizing on the. Not moment, I guess. Yeah. I guess they're just playing it really safe. I don't know much about Messi, but I'm guessing the Brad Wong isn't actually his main character. He is not. I mean, he was always He's famous for his, bit, for his yeah. disgusting genfu. Yeah. So that's 3-0. Messi makes it to the next round. Ah, uh, grunt! So, Messi gets 3-0. Uh, stick around. Uh, loses bracket in a bit. <laughs>